Hey, Mr. Chemical. Hey, Maya Rudolph. Stay away from my VJJ. Stop talking about your Vahoo-ha. Wait, that came out wrong. Outraging to market to you. This is what M&M's is doing. I am Mecca. Insert the, the fancy poppy uppy thing that has my subscribe and like and all the dings right here. Because I am onto something. And just like those Dr. Seuss books that they all decided to make a big deal of, oh, well, we're going to ban two or three of them and then put it up a giant end cap and display in every Walmart and Kroger and Smith's and King Supers and grocery store near you and you know you saw them and they all said buy me buy me buy me they might go away they might ban me oh you need to support these and they did that as a way to market these old books that nobody wanted anymore that everybody already had copies of these Dr. Seuss books and that's what they're gonna do with these M&Ms that's what they're gonna do with these M&Ms they're gonna take away these mascots they're gonna take away our M&M mascots and replace them with Maya Rudolph and they're gonna do what? They're gonna bring them right back. And I know they're going to. And it'll be what, six months, a year, something like that. And it'll be this giant push, probably towards Christmas time. Hey, the M&Ms are back. Buy your M&M gift things today. Really feel the warmth. Am I wrong, am I wrong? You know they're gonna do that. Cause they always do crap like this. It will replace the iconic Spokes Candy mascots with Maya Rudolph after Backlash. After what? The Backlash where they had the purple one that was gonna turn the feminist world upside down. I'm just gonna be me. Yeah, and, and then and then they tried they tried to what? Take away the go-go boots on the on the slutty green one? And everybody flipped out about that one, probably me too. I probably did. Because you don't take away a girl's go-go boots, for crying out loud. If she wants to look like a hoochie, let her. Let her. That is feminism for you. Not Anita Sarkeesian's brand of it. Everything is sexist. Everything is racist. On Monday, it's putting its iconic characters on an indefinite pause and replacing them with actress Maya Rudolph. After controversy following its mascot makeover last year, yeah, let's take a look-see at the mascot makeover. Was this the one upgraded to be more inclusive? Nice outfit. Shut up. Nobody asked for this, especially women who love the green m and boots. Yeah, and I saw one of these at a local antiques mall. Like a little plushie of the green m and and I'm like, no, 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 no. You're not going to trick me into buying it. You're not going to trick me into buying it. So now they're going to take away the mascots all together and they're bring them back and they're going to give you all these collectibles that you have to buy. You know they're going to do this. No one mentioned the ears. The brand said it didn't expect to cha uh, the changes to their spokes candies. The cartoon m and mascots would break the internet, noting that even a candy's shoes can be polarizing. Will you guys do that for marketing? Don't change. If it's not broken, don't fix it. You know? Look at New Coke. You didn't need to change that. I think that was probably my point. This is like New Coke all over again. We knew that millions would prefer it. We don't want Maya crapping stupid Rudolph here. What the, <laughs> what the heck? Do we need... What's, what's she gonna do? What's she gonna do? She's gonna be like like when she was the mom in the seventh generation commercials, you know, the dish liquid. And and the I actually do use them, not because she was the spokesperson or anything. The only thing I wanna add to my baby's diapers is my baby's booty. Because those were weird and creepy, those commercials. She's like, I am pouring this here and it's like a morning spring. And then she drinks it or something weird. They were weird and creepy. You guys remember her in the seventh generation commercials? They were super weird and surreal. They were like a parody of a 1950s dish liquid commercial. Get ready for a truth bomb. America, let's talk. In the last year, we've made some changes to our beloved spokes candies. We weren't sure if anyone would even notice, and we definitely didn't think it would break the internet. But now, we get it. Even a candy shoes can be polarizing, which is the last thing we wanted, because we want to bring people together. <laughs> Shut up. You're candy. Shut the hell If m and is too fragile for the internet. <laughs> Come on. 
Come on. Therefore, we have decided to take an indefinite pause from the spokes candies in their place. We're proud to introduce the spokesperson America and agree on the beloved Maya Rudolph. Quit playing with my eyes, goo. Women's feminine care products are free of perfumes, unnecessary chemicals, and chlorine processing. Why would I need any unnecessary chemicals on my tampon? Ew! Oh, no, no, this is the first one? Ew! What? What? I wouldn't. Who needs that stuff in their hoo-ha? Am I right, lady? It's a va-hoo-ha, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Wow. It's a va-hoo-ha. It's a va-hoo-ha. Is this thing on? Yeah, oh, here, I got, I got something for you. Hey, Mr. Chemical. Hey, Maya Rudolph. Stay away from my vajayjay. Stop talking about your vahoo-ha. I know your mother's mini ripper ten, and she did the loving you know, and she you can probably go really high. And if I'm high enough, I can probably do the really high too. Are we really? Are we really doing this? Are we really doing this? Hey, Mr. Chemical. Hey, Maya Rudolph. Don't live atop my tampon. Stop talking about your tampon. Cause it's a place where babies grow. Cause it's a gross thing you should know. Oh, and everybody knows. And everybody knows. It's a sacred area. J just stick it up your vahoo-ha lady, come on. Stick it up your vahoo-ha. Is this what we want in our M's? This is an M&M &M video. Can we talk about some M's? It's all about the M's lady. It's all about the M's. We don't want to hear about your vahoo-ha. Area of my lady by day. I don't care. Yeah, okay, I'm done. I'm done hearing about her vahoo-ha. I'm done hearing about your vahoo-ha. Hey. I'm not scared of it. All right, look, look. I get it. I get it that they're chemicals and you want a seven- <laughs> What's a vajangle? Does she talk about a vajangle now? With seven generation fem care, you can keep it free and clear down there when I'm- <laughs> Oh God. I just want, I just want to be able to come onto the stream and, and talk about why I think the M&Ms are gonna come back around and we're gonna get all these gift sets for you to buy because that's what they usually do they did the thing with with the with the what were they the 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 dr seuss books remember those seuss books so that's where we wanted to go we don't want to go up your hoo-ha and this is who they're gonna have as the M's, in the M's. Instead of M's, controversy explained. What's the controversy close? I don't care about your notes. Say goodbye to the green or her feminist wearing, sneaker wearing counterpart. Yes, the hoary green one in the go-go boots and the feminist sneaker wearing green one. Mars Wrigley, the maker of the colorful chocolate candies, has pulled spokes candies. Yeah, and, and they're gonna come back. That's all I think. They're gonna come back. And we went off on a Vahoo-ha tangent. So if that's what they really, really want, the lady who sings about her Vahoo-ha, then they need to pay me because I'm funnier than her. I am going back to my live chat. Don't you go anywhere. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye! I feel kind of fresh. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, right. Ugh. <laughs>